Good morning. Sorry, I'm just finishing in my bagel. Mm-hmm. She's already in her day clothes. It's because um when her when I took take her out in the morning, I sleep next to her and feed her. And I guess we both fell asleep and um mm. my milk was still coming out and half her side here was all soaking wet. So I figured we'll change her into day clothes instead of changing her into another jammy and we decided to go with um i guess we could do penny out for today right now so penny outfit for today is a long purple sleeve uh onesie with um polka dot pink polka dot track pants it's pretty cold i don't understand it's june and it's like high of 17 19 to me that's cold like Anything under 20 is cold for summer or spring weather, but I could be wrong. Because <laughs> right now my condo set to, um, supposed to be at 21 and it's freezing. Or thermometer, sorry, I felt, feels my thermometer is wrong or is not reading the right temperature. She has her pal, Violet. Playing songs for her. We have to go get her a hat. Um, I did buy her a hat before. Let me show you. Ah, oh, where's her hat? It was here. Here it is. Summer hat. I bought her this, but look, it's from page one and two, and it's going to be way too big for her head as you can see it's like <laughs> I, did, I grabbed it out of like because I was in a rush so I had to grab something and I didn't read I didn't read the tag for age so definitely need a hat because we'll be a bit outside tomorrow and sunscreen too because I worry Mom tells me when I was little, she didn't have a hat on me. And that's why she thinks I have white hair. <laughs> that she thinks the sun somehow dispigmented my head <laughs> or something like that. Or part of it. And she thinks it's because she never put a hat on me. Mom, don't worry. It's not that. It's, it's, it's just like a birthmark. So it's not the sun. Maybe we'll bring line. So I'm going to take a shower. Because um, I desperately need a shower. And I've been actually taking showers with Penny in the room. Which is fine. Because before I will always have um, Steve. Or wait for Steve or someone to look after Penny. But because our shower at this uh, new loft is an open concept shower that there's no door so anything happens with Penny I could just run out um, and I think she's pretty good in her car seat so that's why I also leave her in the car seat too while I shower and she's content because she just loves putting stuff in her mouth and as long as I have enough toys to put in her in her mouth <laughs> that she could put in her mouth I think she'll be pretty happy so I've been showering by myself with her I think three times already and so far it's so good like no complaints yet happy baby we'll bring we'll bring lion just in time for a shower too because she spat up on me oof I think got some in my hair yep so she's in here and give her Sophie here on the tiger or lion. Mm hmm Mama Sherry. Mommy's brushing her hair. Mommy's brushing her hair. 
I also like to voice out what I'm doing at that moment too, so she gets used to it or know what it is. I don't know, I think it's just regular talk. You know, well, not really regular talk, you don't say this to another person, but instead of saying like, goo goo ga ga to the baby, like constantly, I think it's good to have an adult conversation with her or just explaining to her what I'm doing so she knows what I'm doing or relates the action to the words. They had a picnic. Oh. I think they're having a picnic. Or so we're heading to, well, we're here anyways. We're not really heading to, but we're going to square one right now. Now this one is pretty huge. So that might be tough. 
tired, but we'll see. This is a nursing room with square one. It's not too bad. It's just a room with the change table, a sink, and three chairs. Only bad thing about um, this is that the chair is the armchair. Because when you lay the baby down, like, I don't know, Penny Head hits the arm and her legs hits the other arm and she pushes it off from the other arm with her legs. So it's hard to feed her. But other than that, it's very nice and clean for sure. I would change the chairs though. But it's comfortable. But I don't think it's suitable for feeding or nursing. And there's also a private room in there which is with the toilet. Simmons. Simmons for $69.99. Some um, good uh, sales going on, especially Max is having everything 50% off, which is good because their stuff is already like really expensive, I guess. So 50% off really helps a lot. Um, and I didn't really, I don't know, Square One's a huge mall, as I said before. I only walked the second level, I haven't even walked the first level. I'm already tired. I've been here since like for three hours. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna go home, you know, have a budget today to spend how much, whatever, and kept within my budget, which is good. So, yeah, I think we had a pretty good day, and we're just gonna head home now. Penny here. I just wanna show you guys um, what I bought. Oh, and also, look, the Crips built. So, just finished building it today. So, the only thing that's left is the mattress. Um, yeah, I think I did a pretty good job building this. And we're just going to move it into Penny's room. Okay, so here's our mini haul of what we bought. So, this is my first time going to Bath and Body Works. Um, reason for why I haven't been in there is because of the overwhelming scent that every time I pass by is just too powerful, but um, I know I need to get some hand soap for the guest washroom. And they were having their clearance sale, which is like 50 to 75% off, as you can see right here. Um, ooh, I get another coupon for 20% off. Yes. So, having that said, I bought this scent, Tangerines. Um, I love the foaming one where you press and then it foams up already. So I bought that version. And then, oh, this mint chocolate candle. I'm gonna light this up because it smells just like mint chocolate ice cream. So um, this was 50% off, so it was really good. Oh, and my budget today was $50 um, for it. And oh, look, there's another coupon. So there's that. Oh. Baby. Mummy was doing her haul. Okay. Okay, so we're back before we were interrupted by Miss Poopy Pants here. So as I said, I had a $50 budget. Um, and the reason for me to go is to buy her a sun hat. So because she doesn't have any hats. And also had to buy a detergent, but let me show you. Okay, so yes, so we needed hand soap for the washroom, and this was three dollars, and this one's this one was fifty percent off, so it was ten bucks. And then there was a Target, so I checked out the Target. Same thing, you know, they have product, but not a lot of style in store or selections in stores, but they had the. Um, detergent that we use and this one's $9.99 and Metro sells it for like $10.99. The cheapest I've seen so far was at Walmart for $8.49. So, you know, I'm not going to waste gas just to, you know, save that extra, what is it, $1.50. So I just bought it at Target because we do need that. We didn't have any lefts. And then, obviously, as I said, Max was having an amazing sale, 50% off, and she needed a sun hat. 
And originally I found a sun hat at Gap, but it was like $19.99. So I'm like, mmm. And then this one's similar style, white. And yeah, she loves it. And it's 50% off. So original price, as you can see here, was $19.99. And 50% off was 10 bucks. Children hats are pretty expensive. Same with Gap. Gap is like 20 bucks for a hat too. And then I got her a little play set, a uh, play jumper for summertime. As you can see, it's shorts here. And this was, I believe, $16.99. So another 50% off is like eight bucks. And then the socks were like $6 or something like that. And then 50% off is three bucks each. So three bucks each. And this one comes with a pair of two. Yeah, so it's not too bad, so like $2 each. And that's it. And then tonight's dinner is going to be um, chicken, which is on special today for $7.99. And salad, which was $3.99. So everything here should be under $50. Um, yeah, I believe so. So it's not too bad. We did pretty good, baby. Alright, it's so aggravating. I just got a text from my husband saying that he's currently eating. Because he's actually at a golf tournament um, today, which I've known about for what a week, and um, like for the past I don't know two days. Like even today, I asked him, "So you're gonna be home for dinner, right? You're gonna be home for dinner, right?" Like it's not a, a dinner thing included. He's like, "Yeah, yeah, I'll be home for dinner. Yeah, I'll be home for dinner." Next, you know, I get a text literally at what 5:50 saying that I'm currently eating dinner right now and I've already went and bought dinner as you could see and I wish he should have known I would have known so I don't have to like rush and go buy dinner and oh it's just so aggravating like and then he tells me like he he's like oh we finished at 4:20 and dinner was served at 5:40 so that means he knew since 4:20 about dinner I hate this. I hate it. And I've asked him so many times. It's just consideration, I guess. I just wish, like, oh, 420, I wish he's like, oh, better tell my wife that I won't be home for dinner. But not, like, no, he texts me, I'm currently eating dinner right now. So, I have my dinner date here. There we go. <laughs> Penelope is my dinner date tonight, seeing that my husband decided to tell me last minute that he's currently eating without telling me beforehand. So you can tell I'm pretty upset. There's no consideration. Anyways. It's just you and me, Penny. It's always you and me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And we have a little mushroom hair. And we can always talk. Well, I guess mommy will do most of the talking. Eat while I talk, I guess. To entertain you. Mm hmm. So, the chicken we're having tonight, it's actually a smoked applewood smoked chicken. And it's pretty good. I actually like this. It's not too bad. It's something different than your barbecue chicken that you usually have. But I like this smoked apple wood thing going on. The flavor. It's very smoky. <laughs> Fumy. Infused. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't wait. So you try flavors, baby. There's so many amazing flavors out there that would tickle your senses and oops, your taste bud. Mm -hmm. See, this is Sophie's friend. Mushroom.
I have little Miss P. Oops, sorry. Right here. She's just watching me while I fix up the room. As you can see, I've decided to put the crib here. And this beautiful quilt is made by my sister-in-law, Michelle. So, um, it's going to be with the crib. Not with the bed. It was on the bed because I didn't have the crib. So, it's going to be with the crib. And we have a personalized... A painting of Penelope's name. This is made by my aunt Shona, which is Penelope's grand aunt, I guess you could say. And then I also hung this uh, painting up saying, Sometimes the littlest things take up the most room in your heart by Winnie the Pooh. It's not the quote's from Winnie the Pooh, but the painting's actually from my cousin Rachel. And thank you. So I, I posted it up there and decided to do it on that wall. So far it looks really good. Yeah. 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 Did you say yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to give you a bath today, baby. Like a good bath. Like a scrub down bath. I think that's what we should do today. Tonight. Uh, we should do it after your feeding. Mm. Hopefully you're not tired or sleepy. Try to keep you awake. 